In the vast world of sports, certain athletes possess a magnetic allure that transcends borders and cultures. Trevor Bauer, a name synonymous with both brilliance and occasional controversies, has sparked a unique phenomenon in Japan, where his presence was not only celebrated but adored. This unlikely tale of love and admiration begs the question, why does Japan hold such affection for Bauer? Join us as we embark on a captivating exploration behind Japan's deep infatuation with Trevor Bauer. Trevor Bauer's voyage into the realm of professional baseball kicked off in 2012 with the Arizona Diamondbacks, marking the genesis of a remarkable journey. From the onset, Bauer's talent was undeniable, showcasing a raw ability that hinted at greatness to come. Despite encountering initial challenges, including adjusting to the rigors of Major League Baseball, Bauer's tenacity propelled him forward. A pivotal moment arrived in 2018, when Bauer's star ascended with the Cleveland Indians, earning him the prestigious honor of an all-star selection. It seemed like nothing could stop him. But just when things were looking up, fate threw a curveball. An unfortunate injury knocked him off course, putting his dreams of winning the prestigious American League Cy Young Award on hold. But Bauer didn't let setbacks hold him back. In 2020, he joined the Cincinnati Reds and achieved something incredible. He clinched the National League Cy Young Award, proving once again that he was one of the best pitchers out there. His journey didn't stop there. In 2021, he joined the Dodgers, ready for new challenges and opportunities. However, that's when things took an unexpected turn. Controversies Amidst the highs of his burgeoning career, Trevor Bauer found himself ensnared in the turbulent waters of controversy. The storm surged in 2021 when a sexual assault allegation hit the headlines, casting a shadow over his professional endeavors. The situation escalated quickly. Bauer found himself in hot water after a woman claimed he was physically abusive during their time together. His team immediately refuted this claim, releasing images of conversations between Bauer and the woman in question after images of the alleged abuse were made public. While some believed he would be allowed to continue playing pending the ongoing investigation, he was repeatedly served with administrative leave, further complicating matters. But the trouble didn't stop there. More accusations came pouring in. Two other women accused Bauer of emotional abuse and harassment, adding more fuel to the fire. One of them, Lindsay Hill, even took legal action, suing Bauer for sexual battery and publicly alleging disturbing incidents during their encounters. Bauer fought back hard, denying all the claims with text messages and even posting a video on his YouTube channel to clear his name. Hey guys, I know you haven't heard from me in a while. I look forward to speaking about the false and materially misleading allegations in the future. But for now, this is what I'm able to share with you. One legal matter has been resolved. The judge's detailed decision is available and it speaks for itself. Uh, there is a pending matter, which I'm not able to speak about at this time. So with that being said, I'm going to be rolling out some baseball content here throughout the postseason. This is a channel that aims to celebrate baseball culture and entertain. And I love bringing you guys along for that ride with me. So I'll see you all in a video here soon. Now, Bauer has always denied these allegations, and he did so again today on Twitter, writing, In the strongest possible terms, I deny committing any violation of the league's domestic violence and sexual assault policy. I am appealing this action and expect to prevail. That was Trevor Bauer today on Twitter. However, things took a turn for the worse when Major League Baseball slapped him with a historic 194-game suspension, sidelining him and putting his career in jeopardy. It was the longest suspension in MLB history, costing Bauer millions in lost salary and bringing him intense public backlash. Unable to secure a return to his team, nor find a team willing to take a chance on him in the big leagues due to the controversy surrounding him, Bauer looked to Japan for a fresh start. Despite the setbacks, he saw an opportunity to revive his career and seized it with optimism. Trevor Bauer's move to Japan In a bold and unexpected move, Trevor Bauer decided to shake things up by signing with the Yokohama Dina Bay Stars in Japan's famous Nippon Professional Baseball League. His contract was worth a whopping $4 million, catching everyone off guard. Trevor Bauer, Trevor Bauer has finalized a deal to play in Japan. He signed a one-year deal, $4 million deal with the Yokohama Base Stars. Marking his return to pro baseball after two years away. The former Cy Young Award winner. Bauer has talked about playing in Japan before. And despite other Japanese teams considering him, the Base Stars ultimately signed him. Some wondered if he was trying to dodge the media back home, while others thought he was aiming to rebuild his image. 
From the moment he set foot on Japanese soil, Bauer's presence reverberated throughout the country, igniting a fervent passion that transcended language and cultural barriers. The fans' love for Bauer was evident even before his arrival. His coming was met with great fanfare. Supporters at the airport welcomed him with open arms. He became the subject of intense media attention, with several Japanese newspapers unable to get enough of his superstar arrival. Just before his first start in the Central League, a Yokohama department store unveiled a welcoming seven-story poster of the former Cy Young Award winner on its facade, while mini versions of the poster appeared all around the city. It was the largest ever for a baseball star. One Sports Daily referred to it as the Bauer Festival, as the buzz surrounding his arrival was real. While the news of his arrival in Japan may have seemed unremarkable to American media outlets, the reaction in Japan was quite the opposite. The sight of a superstar in his prime was rare for Japanese fans, but Bauer made it happen. They didn't dwell on his past controversies. Instead, they focused on his incredible skills on the field. The fans were all about Bauer's game, not the blame. Bauer arrived in Japan and was officially introduced as a Bay star, donning a baseball jersey emblazoned with the number 96. Surprisingly, his arrival did not stir up any criticism from his past. During his press conference, the Japanese media refrained from questioning him about his MLB suspension. Instead, amidst the fervor, it was announced that they would inaugurate a Trevor Bauer fan club, membership of which came at a hefty price tag of about $15,000. Quickly becoming the center of attention, Bauer prompted the Bay Stars to grant fans unprecedented access to Bauer-centric events. For a fee of 2.2 million yen, equivalent to $15,000, fans could enjoy exclusive perks, like talk sessions with Bauer, meet and greet opportunities, complete with autograph and photograph sessions, a lot of Bauer-themed merchandise, a personalized game room autograph jersey, a commemorative autograph hall encased in a special display, a unique Trevor Bauer ballpoint pen, and a plaque commemorating the experience. Additionally, the package offered a luxurious limousine ride for the purchaser and six friends to a designated game, where they could luxuriate in a special lounge with complimentary food, along with two regular tickets. It was a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for Bauer's biggest fans to get up close and personal with their favorite player. Successes in Japan Bauer's venture into Japanese baseball proved to be a resounding success, seamlessly integrating into his new team and revitalizing the Bay Stars fan base with electrifying performances. His return to the mound after 22 months was nothing short of sensational. In his debut game, he wowed the Japanese crowds with a masterful display of skill and unwavering determination. Taking the mound, he conceded only one run and struck out nine hitters in seven innings, leading his team to a striking 4-1 victory against the Hiroshima Cub. Bauer's performance stole the spotlight and was hailed as heroic by fans and pundits alike. But it wasn't just the numbers. Bauer's charm captivated the fans. The stadium was packed with 33,202 enthusiastic supporters, setting a new attendance record for the team. Bauer's popularity soared, earning him a spot on Japan's prestigious all-star team, a testament to both his MVP talent and growing popularity. Remarkably, he secured this victory through the league's plus-one fan votes, surprising his rival by an astonishing 1,000% margin. Perhaps his stellar performance in June contributed to this accolade, as he was named the league's MVP for the month with a 4-0 record and 2.0 ATRA. Thanks to his devoted fans who voted for him en masse, Japan has truly embraced Trevor Bauer. Bauer's merchandise became a hot commodity, flying off the shelves and solidifying his status as a bona fide superstar in the land of the rising sun. His jersey was the top-selling item in MPB in 2023, and his autographed baseballs fetched hundreds of dollars. His star status in Japan was undeniable, as he was unafraid to express his opinions and embrace his uniqueness, even in the face of apparent rudeness. Despite occasional displays of frustration, such as his outburst towards teammates during a disappointing performance, Bauer's passion for the game was embraced by Japanese fans, who praised his dedication and leadership on the field. One incident occurred in the final innings of a match, where the Bay Stars displayed a disappointing defensive performance, missing out on potential easy outs, including a potential triple play opportunity. Bauer, disappointed in his teammates' lack of agility, stormed into the locker room yelling at the top of his lungs, wake up right behind the pitcher. Surprisingly, a video of this outburst was met with praise after being posted on X in Japan, but garnered a different reaction when posted in English, stirring more criticism and smearing Bauer's reputation. 
the public condemned Bauer for throwing his teammates under the bus. Interestingly, similar incidents in the past, like his heated exchange with Joey Votto while playing for the Reds, received little attention compared to the recent episode in Japan. While some criticized Bauer's behavior, others commended his commitment to excellence. Nevertheless, controversy surrounding his temper and character continued to spread, highlighting the complexities of sportsmanship and public perception. Challenges, Controversies, and Redemption Despite his triumphant exploits on the field, Trevor Bauer faced a bunch of tough situations during his time in Japan. His famous sword celebration caused a big debate about being respectful to different cultures, showing how tricky it can be in a foreign place. Bauer's sword celebration, his special move when he strikes out hitters, caused some fuss in his team. He did it in his very first inning with the Bay Stars, and kept doing it, just like he did back in the Major League. His team even shared a video of him doing it, encouraging fans to join in. However, one of his teammates, Yamasaki, responded to this trend on Twitter with a post in Japanese, which was later roughly translated by media outlets, causing further controversy. Don't be an idiot. That is disrespectful. There are better ways to go about this. In Japan, many news outlets reported that the American media had mistranslated the tweet, omitting part of it where Yamasaki directed his criticism towards the teams for promoting the celebration rather than solely targeting Bauer. Despite this clarification, the tweet stirred controversy among fans and was eventually deleted, following a press release from the Bay Stars and an apology tweet from Yamasaki. He further extended a gesture of goodwill by gifting Trevor a samurai sword to signify his welcome to the team. In a surprise turn, Bauer's teammate mirrored his celebration in the very next game, which Bauer highlighted on social media with a caption that read, But the American media still wants you to believe my teammates hate me and think my sword celebration is racist. On top of that, Bauer had a hard time on the field. The big-name star who landed in Yokohama amidst roaring excitement faced challenges as his good starts were overshadowed by struggles. His pitches were off and he was giving away at too many hits and runs. In one tense game against Hiroshima, he had to leave after just two innings because things weren't going well at all. But through it all, Bauer worked hard to fit into Japanese culture and be the best he could be. Fans started to really like and respect him, not just for his playing skills but also for his efforts to adapt and improve, showing that he was more than just a talented athlete. Despite facing challenges, Bauer later found success in Japan's Nippon Professional Baseball League, where he was warmly welcomed. Fully immersed in soaking up Japanese culture and baseball knowledge, he dominated almost every game with jaw-dropping moves, much to the delight of fans. Grateful for the chance to play in Japan, Bauer's career took a positive turn with his team there. In his 19 games for Yokohama before becoming a free agent on November the 30th, Bauer racked up an impressive 10-4 record and 2.76 ERA with 130 strikeouts across 130-plus two-thirds innings pitched. Yet the big question of whether he would ever make it back to the MLB still lingered. However, in a dramatic turn of events, fresh evidence proving Bauer's innocence has sparked renewed discussion. Rumors of his return have surfaced online, leaving fans curious about which MLB teams might be eyeing him for the 2024 season, scheduled to kick off on March the 20th to 21st with a two-game series between the Dodgers and the Padres. But Trevor Bauer isn't giving up. As a free agent, he's pushing for redemption, embodying a story of resilience and second chances. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Feel free to share your thoughts and views about Bauer's admiration and MLB's return in the comments section below. We'll see you next time.